by the law. Sheriff, wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Motherfucker had to come. The bitch. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Damn, look, they got me hooked up to IV. Drugged out his mind. That was what that chair made out of. Styrofoam? Flimsy ass chair. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Hey, fuck that. Why Both y'all get this work. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Yeah, I'm gonna walk my foot right up your ass. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I yeah. bet you do. That's cool, and I'll buy Splendid, it. Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Yeah, this ma they really can't hook this my way, man up Alan. with any new clothes. This man's been wearing these clothes for at least four days. Yeah, he about to get choked out of his over. Hurry up! Come on! Come on! Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can. After Come on! Episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Yeah, accept Alice this clothesline. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking that has for cameras. Constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Hey, man, you don't really got no cameras in here, huh? Damn. We go this way, Alan. As soon as I get my flashback. Oh. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. That's cool and all. Is there a furnace up here for me? No? Okay. Your ass getting thrown off this balcony. What is it, a big clock? I need to tell time. I know it's time for you to die. Oh, I, I want to read what this is. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, in memory of a dear friend and poet. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Hartman I'm the one trying to bring you voice. out of the world His words you've constructed echoed madly for inside my head. But I can't I dug do my it nails by into myself. the palms of my hands to stay You focused. need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. <laughs> Come along. Let's go inside. All right, dude. I'm I'm just looking at them knees. I'm taller than you. You get this work too. Uh, uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Oh, well, no. Pretty damn wonderful. Yeah. Hunt with your hands. You know, don't be a little bitch and use a gun. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> Look at this man's long ass neck. Look at that. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. That looks like yeah, good neck to you'd strangle. Like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Hey, look okay. at him getting okay. closer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. Yeah, no you kidding. know what? I'll make sure personally that Dr. Hartman gets his work. By hook or by crook. Come, Alan. This uh, way. Now. That girl, she, she, she cool. She she not gonna get no work though. She good. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. I'm not reading all this. We're here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure that we don't interfere or that they don't interfere with your therapy or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients. 
need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're enraged, enraged, engaged by their creative process. Oh my God, there's more read. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement Therapy TM and its sister method, the FLOW trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Yeah, I got a concern. When the hell can I leave here? Can I get a new set of clothes, goddammit? My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. I agree. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Now, see, out of all that, this is most believable. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Hell no. I think you're taking advantage of my creativity. He's heading with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, <laughs> lest we forget. A crash course. I like how the thunder and lightning right. struck. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these bastards. How well is it? Oof. You might want to disinfect that. Page read, though. Now, I'm going to read it. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Who the hell is a meal? I was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Shall I wish. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. I Tom agree. Just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. Damn. She used to all taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was what were they? Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. <laughs> She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, 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 on purpose. It was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt. Oh, I can jump now? Old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, god damn it. Ah, uh, <laughs> So tired. Built the oh, no. Close to the lake. A place of power. <laughs> we had parties there, man. <clears throat> you, you should I'm gonna see y'all later. Have a party. Oh, there is a thermos. Let me get that. Good thing he's not overreacting. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Something's what wrong. What the hell? I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always yeah, it's dark me. outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Oh, that's I think weird. I made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Ooh, that 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 part, that part gives me like chills. There's a hole in her chest where her heart used to be. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hey, hey, hey! If you're watching, this is another QR code. I, I'll give you a second. I won't move. Hey, you got it. Post in the comments and let me know what it is, cause I'm not about to do it. <laughs> hey, wake! Why don't you humor Doctor Hartman and give the writing a who shot? Who the hell is that? Uh, typewriters in your room. Who, who just said that? Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Is he in my room? The glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? And then be cool, fool. Chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did you get a pair of hands? I don't know. Here's a friendly talk from a mule near witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Oh, manuscript. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Damn, y'all about to get Barry the business? He just asked a simple question. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> Damn. So Claire looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart the hit her hard. Is all she was yours, Tom. Seize your destiny. Get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Damn, I they locked him up the too. Office. He had taken <laughs> all my money and face the music. That's where he was keeping me. time to pay the piper. Damn, you good? I, I might need the hammer. Maybe you could come out and. Oh, he, she's still breathing. Adult diaper and asses for a 
Since you're so tough, Birch. Can I go out this way again? We were on nope. the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? He called him a knave. That didn't find words. He gotta come out now. Ooh. on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Hmm. Oh. Damn. These are like the, uh... All of them. Not all of them, but... Mainly like those four, the darker ones are like... All the smoke and shit, the shadows that we've been fighting. I play tape. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Damn. At least that lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just, Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The what phone call from her. It had been a cut of this, just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clip. Oh, hey, it is the kidnapper. The I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh, that's how you want to play it? Is that how you want to play it? Really? Okay, that's how we'll play it. It'll be hard. Barry. Ow, about time. <laughs> Why are you there. hiding behind the man? Okay, I'm glad to see you. Hey, let me get this thermos. To Hartman's office. It's right next door. Can I knock door. this thing down? You okay? Yeah, I mean, no, the cops found me a roses. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to come off. These were all the pages I had on me, and more. He got a Please, fucking gun. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Him with the butt of a gun. Together on this. You have no idea. Parker, what shut you up. Mean. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just Go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Uh oh.
That's right, smile about it. I don't want to feel bad either. <laughs> 